What's going on today, guys? We're back in the garage for another tool review. Uh, today, we've got a Snap-on 3 8 drive tech angle flex head torque wrench. Um, the part number on there is ATECH2FR125B. <clears throat> um, it currently goes uh for six hundred and fifty five dollars on the snap-on website <clears throat> it does come with a two-year warranty uh from the day that it was purchased um it is an 80 tooth ratchet just like uh, a lot of snap-ons ratchets are uh 80 tooth uh it has uh six scales uh, it does foot pounds, inch pounds, newton meters, in which those three are the ones that you're going to be using uh, most of the time. It does have uh, KG CM, which is kilogram force per square centimeter. And then it also has another one, DNM angle. And uh, there's, there's actually not much online about that, so I'm not really gonna get into it since I couldn't find much on there. People probably aren't uh, using those. So um, <clears throat> it weighs 2.2 pounds uh, without the uh, three uh, AA batteries that uh, it comes with, which is nice. It has a 15 degree uh, pivot head on it. Um, it goes from five foot-pounds to um, 125 foot-pounds. Uh, in inch-pounds, that is 60 inch-pounds to 1,500 inch-pounds. And uh, it does come with a nice sturdy case. Uh, so if it uh, slides off the toolbox or gets dropped at all, uh, the case is definitely going to protect it. <clears throat> it does come with the beads uh, for the moisture. Uh, I would definitely keep that in there. Uh, this uh, is collects the moisture, so the moisture doesn't get in with the battery components or anything like that, so that's always nice to keep in there. Uh, it does have uh, a nice booklet, uh, four languages, and it does tell you everything you need to know about it. I'm not going to get too much into this, because we're going to be doing a little bit of testing on there, but definitely a good read if you've got the time. It also has a certificate of uh, calibration. So it has uh, the allowed tolerance is less than 1% on everything, um, which is pretty nice. So we'll put the three AAA bat or three AA batteries that it comes with in. They're all gonna go in one way, and that is positive side down and as soon as the butt cap gets put on it automatically turns on so we will screw that in and automatically well, make sure you get it in first automatically comes on <clears throat> make sure it's tight um, it automatically comes on, but if you want to shut it off, you hold the power button for three seconds and to turn it on. You just push it on real quick. It does have a nice LED screen here. It does have a backlight. Uh, my only issue with the backlight is it only stays on for a few seconds and then it goes back off just like that. So it would be nice if that stayed on for at least 10, maybe 20 seconds, or if it was just an off and an on. Um, <clears throat> so with that, there's the foot pounds, inch pounds, newton meters, uh, KGCM, and then the DNM on there. So we're gonna be, we'll mess around with the uh, foot pounds. To change it, you're just gonna scroll up here. Anytime.
so we'll leave it set still there as it configures. Well, uh, anytime you, like, like I said, uh, turn it off, hold it for three seconds, turn it back on, and it's automatically going to zero it out. And then it wants you to leave it sit uh, for hopefully not too long. Um, I haven't used it too much uh, other than uh, messing with some bolts uh, here and there. And it's zeroed out uh, at 180 degrees, which is which is what we wanted at. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to do a little testing on uh, the lights and everything. <clears throat> so it has uh, it, the LED screen will come up uh, when you are on. Let's go up to. We'll bump it up to 25 foot pounds. And uh, we've got an eight millimeter on here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here. We'll see if we can get it figured out. <clears throat> so I've got it put on 25 foot pounds and we are going to just show you what it does and it lights up nice so you see the the orange or the sorry the yellow So that got it at 25 foot pounds and it's got uh, two LED greens here to tell you that it got there. It also vibrates as well, which is really nice. So we can, we'll bump this up to 30 foot pounds and we'll do it one more time. And as soon as you uh, give it any stress on it, the LED light automatically kicks on. So we've put it up to, um, what, 20, 30 foot-pounds, I believe, and it, it's at 12 right now. <clears throat> so as soon as you put pressure on, like I said, so at 30 foot-pounds, when it gets to 10 foot-pounds, the first one comes on. 18 foot-pounds, the second one comes on. 22 foot-pounds, the third comes on. And as soon as you hit that, 30 mark you get the two green here and like I said you get the vibration uh, it the notification here and then your green lights um, <clears throat> it's really really a nice um, torque wrench here um, I know that uh, a bunch of people make them and they are a whole lot cheaper I don't know if I said the price uh, for snapon.com uh, it is currently going for six hundred and fifty-five dollars. Uh, now, with that, that is pretty expensive uh, for uh, just one three-eighths. Uh, they do have a quarter inch, and in another video soon, I will be doing the half inch, going over it. Um, <clears throat> but with this one, uh, if you are doing here and there work uh, with the um, uh, with the torque wrench. I probably wouldn't go with uh, Snap-on. There are some that are quite a bit cheaper out there. Uh, like uh, the big one is Gear Wrench is a really nice one, um, and it's uh, LED and all that, and it probably does most of what this one does, uh, and it's probably a fraction of the price, probably around one hundred and fifty dollars. Uh, give or take, don't quote me on that. Um, but if you're gonna do a lot and you want uh, something that you can uh, call your Snap-on guy and say, hey, look, I don't think it's acting right, 
or it needs calibrated, you can send it in and have them uh, redo it if it's under the two year warranty. Uh, so this is a great buy if you're gonna do, uh, if you're gonna do the torque wrenching um, on an everyday scale. So uh, if you're not and <clears throat> you're just uh, kind of that weekend warrior guy, I would definitely just go with something a little cheaper. But that's my opinion. It's a really, really nice tool. Um, but is it worth the $655? That'll be a no. Uh, so if you guys uh, have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them down uh, in the comment section for me and I'll get back with you. Uh, if you guys like the video and uh, you want to see some more from Snap-on, uh, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe. Until next time.